Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, I am starting a new series for the subject Radiation and Microwave Theory. As far as this subject is concerned, the first unit is related to antennas and from the second unit everything is related to microwave. So without wasting the time, let us start the session. So unit number one, the first topic from unit number one is fundamental equation for free space propagation. It is also called free, free space equation. So from the exam point of view, you may expect the direct equation like this, derive the fundamental equation for free space propagation or derive the free, free space equation. As far as this derivation is concerned and entirely first unit is concerned, certain basic things are required related to antennas. Ye pure unit mein hum log antennas ka study karne wale. Presently, this is the first part. Ye jo derivation hai, this is most important derivation. Is mein jo jo terms lagne wale, I will brush up the things. In the entire unit, we'll, we are going to cover all such things again. So, there is one term which is called isotropic radiator. Radiator is the term related to radiation. So radiator is the thing which is radiating the energy. For example, transmitting antenna, which transmits the signal, that means which radiates the signal. The word isotropic means equally in all directions. So isotropic radiator is the device which radiates energy equally in all directions. If we are talking about the earth, if we are talking about a sphere, then in that case for isotropic radiator, average power that is P average is given by P radiator. Matlab kitna power radiate ho gaya upon 4 pi r square. This term 4 pi r square is related to sphere. So this is the formula of average power in terms of radiated power. Now there is one more term which is called GD max. GD is basically this term GD is the directivity or directive gain. Directivity or directive gain. Max indicates maximum. So there is one term. Just like I have told you, these terms in this unit we are learn learning. Presently, this derivation for which many terms are required, I am briefly explaining those terms. So GD stands for directivity or directive gain. G stands for gain. D stands for directivity. So GD max is maximum directivity or maximum directive gain. The basic equation is PD max. PD max is maximum dissipated power upon P average. Simple. Yaad kaise rakhna hai dekho. Koi bhi gain ka equation kya rata hai? Output upon input. Output kya hai? Kitna power dissipate ho gaya. So it is PD max. Maximum dissipated power. Hum logon ko energy transmit karna hai. To kitna power dissipate ho gaya? Upon average power. So this is PD max upon P average. This ratio is called directivity or directive gain. From this equation, I can write the equation of PD max as CD max into P average. Very simple. Ye P average term yaha pe transfer kya and I have interchanged LHS and RHS. If we are talking about test antenna or if we are talking about transmitting antenna to yaha pe suffix t use karenge t stands for transmitting antenna ab ye jo p average ka value which is p radiated upon 4 pi r square i will be putting this value in place of p average therefore i will get the equation pd max is equals to cd max of transmitting antenna into p radiated upon 4 by r square so this is the equation of pd max ab aur kuch important formula lagne wale jo maine yahan pe likh ke rakha hai so received power and maximum dissipated power matlab received power matlab whatever power that we are getting at the receiving antenna usko bolenge received power pd max is maximum dissipated power there is one term which is called effective aperture area this term a stands for area, E stands for effective, so small r stands for receiver side. So it is effective aperture area at the receiver side. What is this concept? Agar suppose, ye receiving side ka antenna ka total area hai. Usme se, itnai portion, this portion is an effective area where 
all the incoming energy is falling. So this is denoted by AER, that is effective aperture area. So the relation between P received received power and maximum dissipated power is P received is PD max into AER. So I will rewrite this equation. So P received is equal to PD max into AER. This I have told you. AER is effective aperture area. Now this is the equation of P received. So this equation contains P D max. I will put the value of P D max in this equation. Therefore, received power P received is equal to G D max of T transmitting antenna into P radiated upon four pi r square into A E R. बहुत सिंपल है ये पी डी मैक्स का ये जो पूरा इक्वेशन था ये मैंने यहाँ पे पुट किया ए आर रिमेन्स एज इट इज नाउ देर इज अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट रिलेशनशिप विच वी वॉन्ट इन दिस डेरिवेशन जैसे मैंने बताया ये पूरे रिलेशन जो हम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं ये पूरे यूनिट में हम लोग लर्न करने वाले डिराइव करने वाले हैं सो देर इज वन मोर फॉर्मूला जी डी मैक्स ऑफ आर जैसे मैंने अभी एक्सप्लेन किया जी डी इज गेन डायरेक्टिव गेन और इट इज सिंपली कॉल्ड डायरेक्टिविटी आर स्टैंड फॉर रिसीविंग एंटेना सो डायरेक्टिविटी ऑफ रिसीविंग एंटेना एंड ए आर ए आर इज इफेक्टिव एपरचर एरिया आर रिलेटेड बाय जी डी मैक्स आर इज इक्वल टू फोर पाई अपॉन लैमडा स्क्वेर इन टू ए आर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ जी डी मैक्स आर सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन आई कैन राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ ए टू द बेस आर एज जैसे ये सिंपली क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन करेंगे सो दिस बिकम्स जी डी मैक्स ऑफ आर इन टू लैमडा स्क्वेर बाई फोर पाई बहुत सिंपल है ये फॉर्मूला से मैंने ए आर का इक्वेशन कैलकुलेट किया नाउ वील पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ ए आर मतलब ये पूरा इक्वेशन यहाँ पे पुट करेंगे सो आई विल गेट द न्यू इक्वेशन पी रिसीव्ड इज इक्वल्स टू सी डी मैक्स of t into p radiated upon 4 pi r square into c d max upon r into lambda square by 4 pi this is lambda square by 4 pi yeah equation thoda rearrange karte i will write it over here so i will write it like this p received upon p radiated मतलब सिंपल ये पी रेडिएटेड एल में ट्रांसफर किया इज इक्वल्स टू जी डी मैक्स टी टी स्टैंड फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटेना इन टू जी डी मैक्स आर आर मतलब ये टर्म लिया अब देखो ये दो टर्म्स जो है ये दिस फोर पाए आर स्क्वायर एंड लैमडा स्क्वायर बाय फोर पाए दिस टू टर्म्स कैन बी कंबाइंड एंड दिस कंबाइन टर्म्स आई विल राइट इट लाइक दिस It is lambda upon four pi r bracket square. So this is basically the fundamental equation for free space propagation. It is also called Fries transmission equation or Fries free space equation. इसमें ये जो term है lambda upon four pi r इसका reciprocal मतलब four pi r upon lambda bracket square. This term is called path loss, abbreviated as PL. तो जैसे मैंने बताया ये important derivation है और इसमें कुछ basic terms लगने वाले इट इज नॉट एट ऑल टर्म सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वी आर गोइंग टू डेराव ऑल दीज इक्वेशन वट एवर वी आर वी हैव यूज इन दिस फॉर्मूला इन दिस डेरिवेशन नाउ लेट एस सॉल्व फ्यू न्यूमरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू दिस Now, as far as this part is concerned, the numericals are pretty simple. Two formula आप लोगों को याद रखना है। ये मैंने लिख के रखे हैं formula। Just now we have derived the equation for free space propagation. Without fail, you need to memorize these two equations, so you will be in a position to solve to attempt any numerical. अब देखो, मैंने ये पूरे notes, पूरा formula का list as well as the question bank. I have already uploaded in the study app. If you haven't yet uh, downloaded the app, please download the app. I will provide the link in the description box. Okay, so given numerically, a communication link is to be established between two stations using half wavelength antennas. Now, this type of antenna is immaterial. This half wavelength antenna is basically lambda by 2 antenna. 
फॉर मैक्सिम डायरेक्टिव गेन वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर अब देखो एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है अगर गेन डीपी में देते तो हम लोगों को नॉर्मल यूनिट में कन्वर्ट करना है प्रेजेंटली इट इज नॉट गिवन इन डीपी सो दिस इज वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर आई डोंट नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन अनदर फॉर्म सो आई विल राइट द गिवन थिंग एज जी डी मैक्स अब देखो ये जो वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर है दिस इज बोथ फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटीना एज वेल एज रिसीविंग एंटीना सो जी डी मैक्स टी एज वेल एज आर इज इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर द डिस्टन्स बिटवीन टी एक्स एंड आर एक्स टी एक्स मीन्स ट्रांसमिटर आर एक्स मीन्स रिसीवर इज हंड्रेड किलोमीटर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्मॉल आर इट इज हंड्रेड किलोमीटर सिंस इट इज गिवन इन किलोमीटर आई नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मीटर सो हंड्रेड इन टू टेन रेस्ट टू थ्री मीटर्स एंड द ट्रांसमिटिंग पॉवर इज वन किलो वैट This is transmitting power. That means it is the value of radiated power. So P radiated is one kilo watt. Again the same logic. It is given in one kilo in in terms of kilo watt. So it is one thousand watt. Then the frequency of operation that is F is equal to hundred megahertz. Since it is in megahertz, we need to convert it into hertz. So it is hundred into ten raised to six hertz. This is the operating frequency. What is the maximum power received by the receiver? अब direct formula ये P received का phase uh, phase space equation का formula है. इसमें values put करना है. Most important part is इसमें एक lambda का value लगता है हमें. So this lambda is operating wavelength which is given as c by f. So in this case three into ten raised to eight. C means speed of light which is three into ten raised to eight upon f. F is the operating frequency that is hundred into ten raised to six. So value of lambda is three meters. अब ये पूरे values, all the things are directly given. If you put it in this equation, you will get the final answer of received power that is P received is point not one five three two micro watt. Micro means ten raised to minus six. So this is the uh, received power. नेक्स्ट न्यूमरिकल कैलकुलेट द पावर डेंसिटी रीचिंग द मून सरफेस फ्रॉम वन मेगावैट पल्स ट्रांसमीटर लोकेटेड ऑन अर्थ सो दिस वन मेगावैट इज द गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ रेडिएटेड पावर सो पी रेडिएटेड इज इक्वल टू वन मेगावैट दैट इज वन इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स वैट लोकेटेड ऑन द अर्थ द एंटीना गेन इज फिफ्टी फाइव डी बी अब देखो ये मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है जैसे मैंने लास्ट न्यूमरिकल में बताया अगर डीबी में गेन देते तो हम लोगों को नॉर्मल यूनिट में कन्वर्ट करना है वो कन्वर्जन कैसे करना है सी गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ जी डी मैक्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटीना इज फिफ्टी फाइव डी बी डी बी स्टैंड फॉर डेसीबल सो ये वैल्यू कैसे कैलकुलेट करते हैं जीडी मैक्स यहां पे जो मैं जीडी मैक्स लिख रहा हूं दिस इज इन नॉर्मल यूनिट्स नॉट इन डीबी एंड दिस गिवन वैल्यू इज 55 डीबी मतलब कोई भी वैल्यू अगर डीबी में देते हैं तो 10 लॉग ऑफ दैट वैल्यू कैलकुलेट इज कैलकुलेटेड सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस बेसिक वैल्यू तो ये 10 यहां पे ट्रांसफर करेंगे और ये लॉग है सो आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट जीडी मैक्स टी इज इक्वल टू ये 55 अपॉन 10 हो जाएगा दैट इज 5.5 सो इट इज Anti log of five point five. That is fifty five. Anti log of fifty five upon ten. So you need to do this calculation on the calculator. So this value of G D max in normal units is three one six point two 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 seven. So this is the value uh, into ten raised to three. Yeah, this value into ten raised to three. This is the value of G D max which we got in terms of normal unit. Now. Uh, what is asked in the question? The one more thing is given. The distance between moon and Earth is four lakh kilometers. So small r is four lakh kilometers. You need to convert it into meters by multiplying it by ten raised to three. Now it is asked to calculate the power density. That is value of P D max. We have already made formula. So put the value G D max of T. G D max of T is this value three one six point two 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 seven into ten raised to three. Then P radiated. P radiated is one into ten raised to six upon four pi r square. This is the value of r, which is in kilometer. Convert it into meters. So if you solve this, then final answer of P d max, that is maximum dissipated power, is point one five seven two seven. 
in terms of micro watt that is mu w so this is the final answer so this is the way how uh, the numericals as far as this free space propagation is concerned so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video